Hello everybody, I'm Chip Chimp and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today, we are on a brand new server. It just opened up yesterday and uh, we're ready to get into it. As you can see, this is not brand new fresh, like, it's very new. I just started playing a few hours ago, but I wasn't recording that part of it. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of everything you missed so you know what else happened. So first off, the spawn area was built by myself and strawberry socks on the name list here so we worked together over the like past few days and built this whole area it's really nice i'm actually pretty proud of it it's a little bit far now so i can't really go back to it but i'll play a clip of it that i recorded before i came out here so you guys can see what it looks like so here you go hope you enjoy Wasn't that nice? That was so sick. It's so crazy what that looks like. I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it, like I said. It's a nice area. All the terrain was landscape that the thing is on. That wasn't natural terrain. A little waterfall, structure in the middle. It's pretty fun. If you guys wanna check it out yourself, you can, uh, it's actually a public server. So put the IP address, you may be on the screen or in the description below. So just feel free to come check it out and you can join the Discord as well for uh, Strawberry Socks. They, ha they have a fun community. Anyways, I'll give you guys a little tour also of the path that I went on to get here. Cause like I said, it's a little bit far away. Yeah, let's just jump over to the map real quick. So right here we got a map of the whole area. Uh, the spawn is right around here. This is the river that goes right past it. And the building is right around here. So basically I came down, the spawn border is around here. Took a boat, found a pirate ship, found a treasure, did some mining, came down, found another pirate ship, another treasure, and then we landed on the, the coast here, and this mountain looks really nice. I almost built my house here, but considering there's going to be a mountain update later, and that I, my previous house was built in the mountains from the other survival series, which you can go check out on my channel, I decided I'll just hold off. I'll build another mountain house later, and just kept exploring. So we found this nice forest. There's another mountain here as like a cool backdrop, and these plains with a ruined portal. 
small lake. This looks decent. I was content with this area, but I kind of want a witch farm. So I'm going to see if these two swamps here have any witch huts in them. And then I'm also going to check out this jungle and this taiga because there's these really nice oceans and lakes here on the map at least. And I want to see the terrain here because it could be fun to build in a jungle. So that's what we're going to go do now. We're going to go on a little adventure and check these places out. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we're back and now we're all geared up and we should be pretty good to go. I think let's just head out. It looks like a sideways tree from right now. What is that? No, it's a normal tree. It just didn't load in. It was actually a sideways tree. <laughs> I also don't have a bed, but these people have been sleeping so much. They're like terrified of the night. So I don't think it'll matter. Ah! Oh, he's okay. So here's the first little swamp where up on the trees so you can see like almost the whole thing. And yeah, there's no witch huts in this one. So we'll just keep moving along. About 600 more blocks to go. Not quite as far as it felt it might be, but you know, that's good, I guess. So we found another swamp here. Pretty large. I walked through most of it. And uh, yeah, no no witch huts. It's not looking promising. I guess they're not that common. We may have to walk pretty far if I want to do this or just give up on it entirely. I don't need it. It's going to be a lot of work. But it just sounded interesting because I've never tried it. Maybe I can open up a shop and sell some potion ingredients. Could be kind of cool. All right, we're coming up on the, the last swamp now. This one hopefully has our witch, witch hut in it. I don't know. I don't want to explore the whole thing because this one was pretty big, but yeah, we're in the area now, so let's just keep looking around. Oh wait, actually, there's one right there. We found one. We got ourselves a witch hut. Let's go. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, there's a witch in it. We'll just leave her be. But we will make this into a farm. 100%. So now that we're here, I can go out that way and go see the taiga. There's also an ocean at the bottom of the swamp, which I kind of want to check out first. It shouldn't be that far. This swamp is actually massive. It's like the witch out was way back there. I've been swimming for a little while now. It's huge. I, mean, I could build like a swamp town. That might be kind of kind of nice actually. I'm tempted to build a swampy town now. It could be like uh, in The Hobbit is that that watery town that they visit. It's all floating. That could be really nice if I do it correctly. Alright, there's the edge of the swamp. I'll just keep going like a little bit more. The ocean is coming up. I'm curious about the jungle still. Very tempted to do this one. It sounds kind of fun. Build these like big swampy trees. These like dark colors. Make this like just miserable place. <laughs> I'm not sure why I want to live in a miserable swamp, but it's calling to me. The more I think about it, I think this is actually the ocean. I think we actually made it. I'm just talking. <laughs> Let's go check this out. Let's see. I want to go around the coast a bit. Oh, wait, there's an ocean monument. Ooh. These are like relatively close to each other. We can make a guardian farm and we can make a witch farm. So now I head back this way. Just up the side of the coast. I believe we can reach the taiga and the jungle. If they don't inspire me. I'm actually going to build in the swamp. It sounds nice. But if I make the swamp into an industrial area, just put like iron farm and a witch farm and then have this ocean farm over here. Like we could have this whole bottom half of the continent just be farms. And then out there, we can have our house. Can I separate them a bit? There's actually another shipwreck. Hold on. Let's check this out. There's our first chest. Mm, this is the bummy one. I think oh, we got potatoes. Potatoes are good. This one's just completely rocked in, too. I wonder how they got rocks into this ship. And man, this captain did some work. There's our treasure map. Oh, we made it onto the map. That's good, that's good. It's best to just do these right away so you can not have to go trekking across the entire world. <laughs> this is a nice little birch area. Oh, this is really cool. With the, the plug-in to skip time so one person can sleep and everyone it works for everyone I, I really like the night sky when it happens it looks great so this this treasure map will actually be right around here i wonder if someone already tried to dig this or if it just looks like that i think it just spawned like that because it's floating sand so we're not going to touch that we're going to just ah there we go found it very cool look at that that's a banger chest. I'm drowning. <laughs> and let's get out of here. I've already ruined this area enough. <laughs> That's actually a really nice mountain. Look at that. Nice flat area. It's really cool. Hole. 
That looks nice. So I believe this mountain here and this shore, this is actually that ocean lake inside the continent, if I'm not mistaken. So if we cross this, we should end up in the taiga. Apparently I just spent 10 minutes chasing a cat and it wasn't recording. But yeah, there's a nice village here. It's decent size. We got our brewing stand. It's good stuff. We made it to the taiga and uh, let's go check it out. See if we're inspired at all. So the taiga is nice and all, but I don't, I don't feel connected to it right now. Yeah, we'll just see if the jungle is any better. If not, I'm actually going to live in the swamp. It seems like tech. Hey, hey buddy. You want to be my friend? You want to be my friend? You want to be my friend? No, he's not going to be my friend. Oh, there's the jungle on the horizon. That's nice, that's nice. Now I just need to decide if I want to have my little Venice swamp <laughs> or like a jungle ruins. The, oh, this is like, I feel like Tarzan. <laughs> oh, I really want more inventory space, but Mojang is just like, no. No, I don't want to. I'm like, I want inventory space. I want inventory management. I want, you know, maybe a backpack. And they're like, bundles? Yes, this is what you wanted? No, I don't want a bundle. <laughs> bundles are actually pointless. I don't understand. What makes them think bundles are a good solution? They don't do anything. If anything, they make it harder to sort because I have all these bags of things. They're good for like giving a gift to someone. It's like wrapping paper. Otherwise, Nah, I don't want it. I don't know, I could make the jungle work. The terrain isn't really anything special. It's mostly the trees and the bushes that sell it as a jungle. And like the birds spawn, that's nice. I like the parrots. But like, I don't know, maybe I don't need to be in a jungle. I'm not, I'm not feeling this either. We're gonna be swamp gaming. <laughs> Let's go. It's so fun to jump around in the jungle, actually. It's it's exciting to actually see a jungle in Minecraft. Like, I feel like they're rare, but you know, it's nice to have them around. I'm probably going to go into the swamp and make my house there. It's nearby the two farms I want to make. Uh, it'll be an interesting like twist, because I don't normally do something like that. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We'll make it. Got our trusty boat. There's a mountain coming up here. It's nice. Back in the swamp. Back at the witch hut. Is, he, is she still in there? Let's see. I actually don't see her right now. Maybe we're okay to check it. Oh, she's in there. Uh, she's growling at me. <laughs> Let's just head out. No, no, no. I don't want to. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to farm you. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What is she attacking? You saw her throw a potion? <laughs> She just say, ah, chucks potions at the air. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Stinky witch. <laughs> it's weird to say it, but this looks like a good spot. I like this. Got the nice little river going through. All right, well, let's drop a chest down somewhere. Right around here. I'll plant some berries so we have food when we come back. Because we do have one more trip. We have to go back up to the mountain. One last trip. Get all my stuff. Get back here. Then we can build a little house and a wee bag. Found the ruin portal. Let's go. So my stuff is ouch. Leave me alone. <laughs> my stuff is right here under this tree. I actually have a double chest of things. I really don't want to make two trips. Alright. Now we head back. Country roll. Take me home. To the place where I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. I, I'm thinking about it, and this, this whole episode has just been, I'm going to walk. We're going to go for a walk. Hey, we're walking. It's just, just, just walking. I've been walking all day. That's all I've done. I just ate my carrots. If I ate the last one, oh my god, I'd be so sad. Take this out of my hand. <laughs> oh my god. And there's the witch hut. Hello, how you doing? I'm your new neighbor. 
uh, I just just dropping by to uh, give you a little housewarming gift, but opposite because here you go. Um, here, here, well, it, it's in the water. All right, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, get out of here. All right, so here we are, back again. Guess who's back? Chip Jim's back. Tell a friend. Let's just plant these. God, it's such an ugly color. Why am I living in the swamp? What is wrong with me? You know, first house, first area. It's gonna be a little rough, you know? We don't have drip yet. So for now, we'll just uh, get on our boat and head this way. This area is nice and open. I feel like this is like a good spot to start it. But it's also pretty close to this witch farm because the corner is right there. So let's just go a bit further out. Oh, this is all swamp. Actually, this is the perfect spot. We have a bit of distance from the thing. Yeah, this looks good. Just like here. Well, say hello to uh, our new house, I guess. Here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make a little starter house that's like a little swamp boat. That sounds fun. I'm actually gonna make a little dock coming off of here. And, uh,. You know what? Just wait. You'll see. How you doing? We, we're just chilling, right? We're just chilling. We're friends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're friends. We got slime balls. We got bones. That's so good. So before I mine out all of these, I saw this this trick in a in a green video recently. Basically, you find a, a clay patch. It looks like this in a swamp. You take the middle block of that clay patch. You face south, and you count seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then right around this one here. Apparently you can dig straight down, and you'll find diamond. I don't know how legit this is. I've never tried this. Maybe I'm going to get trolled. <laughs> but it, hopefully there's a diamond somewhere in this area underground. And that's bedrock. Hmm. This one looks like it was a dud. But maybe I miscounted or something. So we'll, we'll go back up to the redstone. Oh! There it is. How many blocks off was that? Just like two diagonal. Like, what? Alright, well, we find diamonds. Let's go. Kinda, kinda does work then. Yeah, actually. So we'll try it first. On this other smaller one right here, because we know that smaller one gave us something. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're at bedrock. Let's go back up. Maybe it's not a hundred percent all the time gonna work, because it seems like there's nothing. My pickaxe broke, and we haven't found anything else. I'm gonna assume that's that's all we're gonna get. So the second one, I guess, was a dud. It only works sometimes. It was interesting that the first one did have diamonds, though. Could have been a coincidence, but it could mean there is some merit to this. So we'll do this one next. So that'll be right here, this block. Well, there's the bottom. It's not promising. Oh, there it is, actually. We did find it. We did find it. So this was our hole. It was two blocks away from that. So probably, like, you come down and just dig all this out. And you'll... It's a pretty good chance. It's happened two out of three times. And that's eight. That's some good stuff. Holy poggers, Batman. Let's go. So we'll go to this that I marked already. And go done. Oh, that's that. Oh, wait, there it is. There's my diamond. Within two again. It's always within this cube. That is three out of four, though. So we're going to try this method one more time as a control test and see how it works when there's no clay. If we find diamonds, then maybe it's just random on those ones. So we'll just choose this block. See, there's no clay around. All right. Oh, well, that's the bottom. 
It's not looking promising. Oh, there's a cave. I knew it was around here. I hear, I hear spiders. There's a ton of them. As far as the experiment goes, it's a success. We didn't find diamonds here, which was intentional, I guess. That was the de desired outcome. There's so many spiders here. I need my shield. I don't have my shield. There's also... Ah, where, where'd you come from? Oh, they're, they're above me. Oh, God. Oh, they're walking. Oh, my... So I've never been uncomfortable from Minecraft spiders before. But hearing this amount... It's kind of unsettling. Oh, a name tag. Let's go. No, 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 no. Well, we found diamonds. Now, this makes me wonder, can I do this reverse? If I dig straight up here, will I find clay? If there is, that would also prove something. But this could just be a random diamond, because not every diamond's going to be like that. So I guess we'll just go up. Oh, well, there's some water. Actually, there is clay right there. Let's see this. So the middle is here. North. Seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty close. It's off by one. I think this and the fact that I found it a bunch of other times kind of solidifies that this is actually a solid trick. And if each one of these is a diamond, yo, I might be rich. Good to know this works, I guess. All right, now that the boat's completed, let's go check it out. So over here, we got the front of the boat. Little fishing spot, got my rod in my bucket. And you get a good view of the whole swamp. Over here, the other entrance. And back here is the little rod to turn the rudder on the bottom. See here? You can see the bottom like this. I don't really like all having all this string here, so I may take out the vines. We'll see. Inside we got a table, chair, a little window, another little window in my bed. Upstairs, is this little platform you can stand on. There's nothing in this chest yet. You can see out though, another nice view. All the way down here, we have like the storage area, a little workshop. So I just put all my stuff. It's already pretty full, so I think this will not get as much use as it may want it to. So I'll probably just put like important items or like emergency storage of things that I may need around my base. Let's also show real quick, we dug out this moat here. It's like a channel for the boat to go along. Looks pretty nice. And you can see it goes all the way out so the boat can just continue along the river from both directions. So one thing I want to do before we build too much in this area is I want to have a map and then we can create progress maps of this whole area. Let's just see real quick uh, what does our first map look like. Oh my god. We're all the way in the corner. This kind of sucks. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Maybe I should have checked this first and like built further up. All right, here it is. So this is the map of the entire area we've built so far. It's all right there. I'll add these two in once I get more paper. For now, we've only built here, so it doesn't really matter. You can see the little, the boat, the little canal, and here's the dock and this platform. The witch hut, the reference is right around here. And my little farm is with the area that I have like sugar cane and everything growing is like right around here, just off the map, but that's okay. So yeah, there we go. Got the whole swamp. All right, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Uh, with the uh, completion of this boat and dock, I'd like to also officially announce the beginning of Project Sludge. It's very exciting. Hopefully it goes well. And uh, yeah, got lots of big plans coming up for the swamp. Uh, well, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have uh, a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I actually did it, I drowned. Why did I do that? Why did I drown? <laughs>